A dawn shoot along the West River and an ancient octagon-shaped village. We're going head-to-head -head in a drone and phone snap scrap. Well, it's the last in our series of our photography challenge. Me with my drone and phone, Nick, our professional photographer here with all the gear and no idea. Gotta get that one in. <laughs> Today, we have an amazing sunrise. It's six o'clock in the morning, look behind us. We're gonna go out along the river. We're in Jiaoqing in the Chinese mainland in the Greater Bay Area. And then we're gonna to go to this amazing village right after that. Looking forward to it. Let's go. The cameras on drones and smartphones have rapidly improved over the last 10 years, but are they good enough to compete with a professional DSLR? In this series, we're putting them to the test in a slew of challenges around the Greater Bay Area. Nick is in Asia for the first time and has just five days to capture as many great pictures as he can. In this final episode, we take a stroll along the West River at dawn before heading out to the countryside. Early morning in any Chinese city is a great time to stroll with a camera, and Zhao Qing is no exception. The river walk is buzzing with activity as the young and old get some exercise and air before starting their day. So in the Chinese mainland, I think we're going to find, on a scale from 1 to 10, of people enjoying having their pictures taken. You're going to get a 10 from these early morning guys. They absolutely love it. We had a lot of fun with them. They're just so welcoming, really friendly, saying hello and good morning, yeah. which I think is the limit of their English, probably. Yeah, but it was great, yeah? Really and, friendly. And nice pictures as well. Beautiful pictures and what fantastic light you've laid on for us, DJ. Uh, just for you, of course. Thank you. From Jiaoqing, we set off for the ancient octagon-shaped village of Li Cha. It's about a 30-minute drive out into the countryside and a very different landscape. So I should introduce Gary here, who's our driver and is helping us get around. It makes a huge difference if you are able to move fairly quickly because it's difficult to get public transport to all these places. But Gary's just a DD driver and he's uh, uh, helping us out today. Okay. Cheers, Gary. Huh? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> We spent about an hour in Li Cha, Nick getting some great people shots while I concentrated on the drone. Once we finished a circuit of the village, we got back to the car and headed deeper into the country, stopping occasionally for a good shooting opportunity. So this is where Nick has advantage. We've got a guy out in the field a long way away. He's got a long lens on. There's nothing I can do with my mobile phone. I can potentially get the drone up and get over to him, but I don't think that's gonna work. But Nick has a great shot. We drove to another small village where we found a small backyard mill, a great place to chat and snap a few pictures. In the cornfields, we found some farmers happy to talk and have a picture taken. Well, Nick, those two ladies gave us a couple of corn. We've got some food. This was a really fun morning, eh? So generous of them and lovely people. and So incredibly rural here. It's great to get out of the town a little bit and see some of rural China. Okay, let's get back to the edit room. On our way. Let's go. See who's got this one. Well, we're back to the edit room for the final episode. We're still in Jiaoqing. We started early morning on the West River. Lots of activity going on on the river with boats going up and down and people going to work, going to school, as well as people doing exercises all the way along. I started with this as a panorama. Love that. Uh, very simple pano shot. Remember, I'm just shooting with my phone here while Nick has this big old DSLR that he's competing me <coughs> competing with me with. I have a drone as well though, as we're gonna see in a minute. So I start off with this pano and then uh, move down, started getting some Tai Chi. There were some mm. people doing Tai Chi. Uh, I love this one. Uh, the shapes and the sun coming up works really well. The phone has coped with it particularly well as well. And then up with the drone for some early morning mist 
over the mountains and all of that activity. You can see how many boats are plowing up and down this river, which is part of the Pearl River Delta. You Russia. can get through to Hong Kong through there. And then this to the new bridge that's being built across the river. Um, some fishermen out. We both uh, managed to get pictures of them uh, fishing. And one of them was wearing a straw hat, which you were particularly awesome. pleased about. But the great thing about the drone is to really kind of give a sense of perspective here and we're getting right up and seeing the whole city and how the river bends around and really getting a sense mm. of how much traffic there is on that and this has got to be my favorite going the other way around because we have the sunrise yeah, beautiful and a little bit of mist on mm. the right hand side uh, we can see the mountains in the distance we can see all of that traffic uh, a bridge going across the road going down the side the city on the side on, on both sides in fact and this is my pick. Uh, another one with a bit uh, softer light uh, earlier on. Another one of the Tai Chi as well. Uh, of course, and this girl going to school. Right. How did you get on, Nick? As you rightly pointed out, uh, the fishing boat I, I captured as well. Now, this is, this is a, a bit of a wide-angle view of the, uh, of the, the fishermen in, in their boat. Yeah. In silhouette, absolutely. So uh, not difficult to get silhouette because the sun obviously is just about to rise and so there's a lot of light behind. But key to get the angle right, so they're silhouetted against the water or against the sky, but not having the... Uh, Dark background, yeah, yeah, mountains background or whatever. Back, yeah. And there's some action in there. Uh, this person uh, is pulling in the nets. Yes, there's a, a, a water carrier. I, I, I like this just because, again, there's some action here. Um, she is carrying her water. We've got the fishermen in the background. We've got the, the high-rise buildings in, in, in the very distance and the sun just rising. And then cropping in a, a, a different photo, this time using this, this the lens. The telephoto, and this is really the great advantage of the DSLR. It's the thing that we're really missing on this getting that short depth of field we can't do that we can't get the long shots with the long lenses as well because it doesn't exist you can pinch into zoom of course you can see it but by the time you put it on a screen like this it's really all messed up and mushy and horrible you already talked about the tai chi uh, this was this lovely man who was very interested after uh, he wanted to see the pictures that i'd taken uh, very friendly and, and i found that throughout china the, the people we met were, were more than happy to engage and, and chat to us very similar to your shot um, we got a bit of uh, uh, starburst as the sun is is rising up just happens to be uh, I won't say it happens to be it was deliberately under that person's arm and, and, yeah. uh, uh, as as it was coming up um, and there is uh, uh, some more Tai Chi shots oh and another another fishing shot similar to last time we got a bit of light uh, on the the top of the boat there but we got silhouette of the uh, the straw hat the right. Tai Chi uh, uh, people very kindly took out some swords which uh, a photographer's dream especially in a silhouette like this um, and there they are uh, uh, doing their exercises mm -hmm. later on we went to the Octagon village we went right out into the countryside it was actually a half an hour drive so it wasn't that far at all but got a very different sort of sense again equally friendly we found the people all over to be friendly wherever we've been in China fun to photograph when you're around such people but when you get out of the country they're super friendly yeah this lady has sold you something what is that she sold me a, a basket which she had just finished just skimming through there's, there's from I think from now on there's just lots of people pictures they're, they're real characters and they want to engage uh, this this looks like she's about to strangle me she's actually just uh, chatting to me using uh, using her hands to, to try and describe what she's talking about. Uh, this chap, I, I, I love him, he's uh, having just a, a calm moment and I think that's one of the things about this, this rural community. Um, we, we'd left Hong Kong which is so, so busy and, and active and so on. And we go to a village like that, which is just very quiet and calm. Uh, so he's having his cup of tea. And I, I also happen just to really like the doors as well, a bit of rust, a bit of pale blue peeling paint. Uh, this, this chap's having a, having a smoke. He's just having a, a sit and uh, uh, enjoying a cigarette. Uh, she was a lovely lady. Uh, she was very happy for us to photograph her uh, with her walking stick and, and uh, off she went shortly afterwards. Um, and as I said, there are lots of people shots here. I like this one just because um, these ladies were all lined up. I think there are actually more than the four I've got pictured there. Uh, and I chose just to focus using a, a, a very shallow depth of field to focus on the lady on the right um, who is looking across. And again, something that we cannot do with the phone. We're very limited in terms of this kind of thing. And these really kind of pop into, you know, to see that, that 
very shallow depth of field and the sharpness of the image as well that you're managing to get with that big sensor. And uh, this one, yeah, I, I ran off to this particular shop because uh, I really wanted to take a photo of a chap with a straw hat riding his bicycle. <laughs> and uh, uh, it cost me a few calories, but we got there. Um, and there is the very bicycle this time in front of a, a rice field. Up have we have we been through the ten pictures yet? Uh, this is the tenth okay, one now. Tenth, 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 eleventh, something like that. Um, <laughs> and another picture of uh, of a lady um, in in the village. Okay, great stuff. Now I cheated a little bit here. Oh, here we go. Uh, in that I chose this place specifically because I knew that there was no way that you were going to be able to compete with me because I had a drone. And what was amazing about this place, if I just skip straight to this shot here, is its shape in an octagon. Yeah, I can't compete with that. Um, and the only way to do that is either to have a very strong arm and an expendable camera that you can throw up uh, 500 meters or so, um, or get the drone up and being able to shoot down. And this is just such a beautiful shape uh, of a place to live with the water all around. Two different views of that. Uh, a close-up of, of the yin yang sign right that is right in the center of the octagon. And then a few more people shots like you. I had fun playing around this guy coming in close. Uh, this woman was just taken as we were driving past from the window. Yeah. Uh, quick snap. But uh, I love her face expression uh, here. Uh, these people outside another village and again like you the straw hatted man on the bicycle cannot resist it and this lady watering we went into a small factory where they were we weren't sure what they were doing actually I couldn't work out because I was speaking Mandarin to them and they were answering me back in Cantonese and I've got this same oh, I recognize her. three yes. tooth lady here but if I go back to the octagon picture I think that is the one for me yeah um, no, I'm not I'm not going to argue with that so let us have your comments. We want to know what you think. This is the final episode. We spent three days in Hong Kong. We did a lot of the iconic stuff, a few other little bits as well. Um, and then an hour and a half out into uh, the Chinese mainland, into mm. the greater Bay Area mm. um, to go to Jiaoqing and uh, just a very different landscape. And I would say something that if you're a photographer, you're visiting like Nick. Nick's here just for a few days, first time in this area. Um, it's it's really simple to do, but really worth the effort. Huh? Incredible, quite incredible. I mean, to have this this richness of, of subjects and landscape, everything from landscapes through to people, it's got the lot. You took a few pictures over the last five well, uh, episodes. <laughs> I've seen them all. You took thousands of pictures, um, but as you said, well worth the effort. For now, uh, we want to know what you think. Please leave your comments below. Who has the best pictures? Which is, which is the best picture as far as you're concerned? Is it Nick or is it me? For now, my name's DJ Clark. And my name's Nick Moore. And this is Drone and Phone. Phone.